Meryl Payne, Open Muriel Sagas Radar. Welcome to Sir <laughs> Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Yes. And we're going to be playing some, yes, 2600 games, Meowie. <laughs> we're going to be playing four 2600 games. Meow. Meow. And the games tonight are Space Taxi. <gasps> Ooh, exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Berry Fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Beyond Parsec. And Carrot Kingdom. Ooh, yes. that sounds fun to you. Yes, berries and carrots. Lovely. Um, uh, let's uh, let's read out the names of all the people who uh, subscribe to the show. <laughs> who Packrat VG just did? They just added just their name the to the list. Yes, yes, thank you, Packrat VG. Uh, Elnifer, Arkham H, Arkham Scar, Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1970, Atari, Atari Age, BR Pokub, Chelsea 9 Mile, Charles and Chuck, Charles Wynn, Colonel Lamont, Cubanismo, Dan of EC, Dust, DJ Justy, Drifting Snow, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Offender, Gradams, Ground Trooper, Rapper, Johnny WC, uh, Kabuto Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Gaveltifer, Lambda Express, Lauren TT, Zed, Mark, Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Make Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latala, and Mr. Zarnu, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nostalgic, 26, Packer, VG Koal, Gar Antwitz, Ariman, C, RC70, Render, Ghost, Friendly, VG, Recorder, Pim, Smitty, B, Spice, Rest, Mirrors, Teleprompter, D, Train, Welsh, Man, T, Dan, K, T, Foes, Track, M, D, V, V, G, Double Down, and X, Ken, X. Wow. And just before <laughs> the show, like I said, Packer, VG, Spiceware, Rendered, Ghost, and Carl G. Oh, wow. All Everyone's subscribed. catching back up in their subscriptions. Thank, Thank you so, Thank you so much. much for doing that. We are still on break. Doesn't look like it because we're here. Yes. But uh, that's why we're having a random show on a Monday. Yes. So, yes. Um, yeah, yeah, we try and fit some in yeah. here and there. Still, games are being made, so we have to keep playing That's them. That's right. It's our duty. <laughs> um, oh, it's so it's, hard. It's, it's so hard to play people's games, oh, you know? It's, it's a, a rough, burden. It's a rough life. Yeah. It, but we have to do it. Like this cat who yes. just comes here, sits on my lap, and gets massage, massages for about oh, three hours straight. So. Audio's not in sync. Let me fix oh, that. Oh, no. That's very Hello, Gretams. Good to see you. Hi, everyone. Chelsea Doni Mao. Yes, Sprite has gotten bigger. It's good to know. Yeah. It's good to know. Clap, clap. Uh, thank you, Atari1974, for, mm -hmm. for subscribing. Yep. Uh, berries and carrots. Yeah. <laughs> Sprite gets bigger every day. I we know. Keep in the tail. We him, and he fluffier, keeps getting fluffier. bigger. Although, I, I think he's going through a bit of a spring shed right now, because there's, like, tufts yes. of black fur all over the house. Um. I find cats do tend to do that. They, they build do. up their fluff in the winter, and then when it starts to get warm, yep. all of a sudden there's like dust kittens rolling dust down kittens the hall. Dust kittens everywhere. Yes, yeah. blowing in the wind. Blowing the in dust the wind. Kittens. <laughs> oh, change that to a nice soothing pulse. Let's see. There oh, we go. Oh, very That's nice. Better. Very nice. Uh, let me know if the audio's in sync now, please. Should be, hopefully. That's weird that it was not. Um, there is a poll today. It has lots of options. We're not officially back yet. No. no. Pause soon, play here. Soon. Synced it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, lots of options on this poll. What is your favorite control scheme? Could be for home. Could mm -hmm. be for arcade. Mm -hmm. Um, doesn't mean the one you played the most games on. You just like it a lot. It's so what appeals to you yeah, i suppose which as you think's cool story. or whatever you know, if, criteria if you're a big paddle fan for example there's not yes. necessarily a ton of paddle games but no. sometimes you just like paddles. you just like it you like the feel of it the yeah. are, um the yeah. options are number one arcade stick mm -hmm. uh number two d-pad number three spinner paddle round things you spin yeah um you could put the driving controller in there if you like um a trackball a round thing you spin. Mm -hmm. um, there are equivalents for home and arcade. Um, just arcade buttons. Like there are some old school games where it's all controlled with buttons. Oh yes, true. Um, like track and um, field. <laughs> yeah, track and field. That's true. Uh, yeah. Um, and um, also um, asteroids as well. Um, uh, real world analogs to things you do in real life, steering wheels, yokes, handlebars, like on hang wow. on. Yeah. Yeah. That kind yeah. of thing. Like 
like normal things that you would you would find in other non-arcade stuff uh motion sensing controls i was gonna say i am quite fond of the wii i loved a lot of the games the bowling games on the wii i mean they're tiring or the the stick but i enjoyed them i enjoyed them a lot you know those were really fun games and really creative um light gun yeah, joysticks number one. Oh, light gun. Uh, light gun. So if you like uh, the point and shoot games for home and arcade, yeah, that's a fun one. Mm. Um, touch screen. I just threw it in there. I mean, if you're using a tablet, there are touch screen games. Mm. Um, or even for like the Wii U or 3DS, they have touch screen. I guess even with a like a pen type thing as well would count for touch screen. Mm. Kittens, calm down. Um, a mouse and keyboard, old cool. school or new school PC gaming. Yes. That's another input device. Mouse Not and keyboard. arcade. Yeah. Mm, um, yeah. Or a dance pad. Oh, I, I do. I did enjoy <laughs> the Dance Dance Revolution. There you go. Yeah. So there. I didn't play it a ton, but I did enjoy that. Are all the options. I, I think the spinner paddle is my favorite. The spinner, like the driving controller? No. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like in the arcade where you, you're spinning something back and forth. Okay. And I just it love the fun. feel of that yeah. heavy spinner, the arcade style spinner. Yeah. Yeah. That's... When it's like a metal and it's it's got like... Um, New more keypads. Ooh, edges. number keypad. Ooh. I guess that can go under... Do you have another? Mouse keyboard. Mm. Mouse uh, keyboard. I don't have another. Oh, and... <laughs> no option for the mind link. No mind link. <laughs> Because they they do exist. There yeah. are games where you can hook up headbands. There is like that's home, true. That things. is true. Didn't think of that one, but yeah, you'll have to. Are you a Tempest fan? I do love Tempest. I'm terrible at it. Mm. I don't have enough practice at it. Yeah. Um, RC I seventy died. best use of spinner so far oh, in Tempest. Tempest, hundred yeah. percent. Because it's not just uh, a one dimensional. It yeah. is going around in a circle. It's technically one dimensional still. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't feel like a one dimensional. Mm. It. Uh, option number 11 is actually off the screen. Is it? Oh, no. Because uh, we don't usually have this many options. But, <laughs> um, yeah, so number 11 is dance pad. Dance pad is number screen. 11. There I don't you know go. if anybody voted for that. Nope. So it gets zero so far. <laughs> um, playing Tempest can make me feel hyperactive. It is. It's it's pretty intense game. Yeah. Um, for the news, we have the results of the 10 liner contest. Remember we played those games? Uh, last oh, episode. yes, 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 yeah. So here are the results. Oh, we don't have the graphics up. Actually, it's appropriate graphics. Yeah, good. I haven't changed the, <laughs> haven't changed the graphics yet. Um, for the 80 character 10 liner, um, coordinator, the one that was really hard with two players. Oh, yes. And harder with one player. Yeah. Uh, came in eighth. Um, pretty good for 37 entries. Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, I see. On the one These are all your... What is this? This is the results for the 10-liner games that we played. Okay. The results, were they scored? Yes. Gotcha. You can see this okay. got 9.9. Wow. 9. So it got 6.75 out Very of Very nice. 10. Good job. Good job. Uh, for the 120 character 10 lines, uh, Beatles took first place. Wow. It was a very fun game. It was a fun game. Um, so I got 7.67 out of 10. I'm not sure how score this but it looks like it approaches 10 um and then in the extreme 256 the big one where you can put in lots of characters yeah um star runner star runner the um shooter yes came in second very place. good very good 9.75 a jump games. man also excellent uh runner uh and the yep. runner game that very hard fun. um but it got 9.32 came in fourth place very good um and sweeper uh, the Minesweeper came in seventh place. Mine so it targeted very well. <laughs> it was fun. And in the uh, Shao, I can't remember what. Uh, these are non-games, I think, or just open. Yeah. Uh, came in first place. We didn't play that because it wasn't a game. It was a demo. Oh, so, uh, gotcha. So did very well. Very nice. Uh, Tic-Tac-Toe and Pick the Star are also there. Why are they oh. not labeled Atari? Weird. What are they labeled? Did it mess it up? Mm. There's uh, tic-tac-toe multi. It's called multi. Oh, because it was uh, on multiple systems. There you go. Multi. Okay. So there that came go. in ninth place on the 120. Yep. I was wondering that. I was like, where are the other ones? Pick the star. Pick There's the star the multi, the... 13th place, multi. I wonder how they judged it if it's on multiple flat- platforms. Did they judge it on 
the pure code. I'm guessing the people who um, do the judging look at the code, the and code. How, how cool it is yes. as, uh, and the results of how cool it is. And, and the innovations kind of yes. inherent in, in Thank you, Vitoko, simplifying for, it. Thank you, for pointing that out. Cool. Very cool. Very uh, cool. I love that contest. It's so, very unique. Yeah. Ten lines of basic. Um, different platforms are competing against each other. Yeah. Very unique. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, I love anything like that where you're you're adding those restrictions in just to see yeah. how people innovate with them, you know? It's, it's, same it's, with it's like always very, people very making exciting. 4K and 2K games. Like, what can they squeeze out of a 4K? A 4K. 2600 yeah. game. Um, so I need to put in... Well, we'll get there. Um, so the first, I think that's it. Kittens. What do you think? Bad cat. So the first game we're going to be playing is Space Taxi by Jeff Haber, also known as Just Jeff. And um, he also did B Blocks as mm -hmm. well. Uh, this was first posted 2017. So he's been working on it for quite a while. This build is from March 19th. So two weeks ago, one week ago. What? It it was in the Atari Awards, was it not? As a um, work in progress? Yes. And we did play a version of it. Yes. yes. We have played this before. The last time we played it was September 13th. Okay. So we did play this last year. Yeah. Uh, late last year. So, but he's added a bunch of levels. Is which why That's what we're I was going to ask. Again. What what changes uh, we'll see for yes. this version? Because I, I did play it, I think, when we played it uh, ahead of the Atari Awards. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can download in the Atari forums right now if you mm -hmm. like what you see. And coincidentally, um, it's also being made on the Atari 8-bit now as well. As, as early as last Thursday, Andre Atari. Mm. Andre Atari? Andrea. No, Andrea, Andrea Atari. I Andrea? Oh, Andrea. Andrea. Andrea Atari. Andrea Atari. Andrea it all target. merges together. Very nice. Um, dear friends, we had to wait a long time, but we're close to the target. There's still some minor bugs. Oh. Um, it has not been released mm. to play yet, but they did release uh, a video of it. Um, so we hope to play that. So looking Ooh, very good on the Atari. Very good. Bit. So we're just skipping through that, but it looks very good. Mm -hmm. And they've got um, how many levels here? Six. Six times four, 24 minus two, 22 levels. Wow. All the levels. Oh, Look nope. at that. 21. And a final one. screen. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of kind of a final screen, too. So 2021 levels mm -hmm. looking very good. It looks like they have all the levels from the original as well. Nice. But uh, let's take a look at the original C64 version of the game, which is what I know it from. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I switch over the cartridge. Here, so. <laughs> More cough, really. Oh. Less, a, less a cold, really. Oh. Both, right? <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Actually, we'll Spread my germs around. Uh, only to the kittens. I seem to be immune. You do, which, which is, is good. good. I'm happy. This is mm, 2240p. Well, you just have to be so i played the hell out of this game um, is this on the c64 yeah hmm? sorry is this the original on the c64 yes. that we're showing okay i'm like this looks like c64 graphics <laughs> and c64 fonts color. yeah and the fonts and yes. the fonts and it had a uh, speech i love the speech <laughs> so good <clears throat> there we go I'll have to add the other ones in manually. Um, so the basics, basics of, of the game is pick up a person, deliver the person to the place where they want to go. Um, and they're designated by pads, and the pads have numbers. And the quicker you get the person to there, the more money you make from... It's, it's more the tip that you're making. I see. Because yes. it counts down. So if you take a long time, there's yes. not much tip left. So it counts down from 10... 10 and uh, yeah, and then when you've picked up enough people, it goes to the next level. Yeah. Uh, Estramera says this and uh, Load Runner. Yeah, were a couple of my favorites. I just didn't get Load Runner back then. I wish I did because I love it now. Yeah, um, but I just couldn't wrap my head around it at the time. It's like I'm dying. I'm dying. I just didn't understand the guards. Um, so here's they have a whole ton of very creative levels. There, B 
pain stock. Um, there's dangers as well. Um, there's teleporters in that one. There's ones where you have to open and close doors. These um, cats are crazy. Shooting stars oh, you have to avoid. Out. There are magnets. Stop it. Magnets in this one. Uh, a black hole where oh, you have to nice. fight gravity Ooh. in this one. So gonna die a lot in that one. I can tell you that much. Now there's oh, there's also fuel you have to pick up because there uh, there's a fuel. Oh, go away. There's a fuel thing along the bottom as you can see. Mm. So as you run out of fuel, um, you need to go pick some up. Makes sense. And you get and your score is money on the bottom left. Uh, there's things you have to navigate around. Space mines. Moving things. Oh, snow. So I'm looking forward to this on the uh, Atari 8 bit as well, because they'll be able to replicate this a lot closer. Mm. Overly perfectly, I would think. Oh, so deadly. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> uh, now it's time to get to the actual. 2600 version so they've got quite a challenge ahead of them to try and replicate not only the look of the c64 version but the feel of it as well mm -hmm. with the gravity and the obstacles so i'm not sure how far they're going to go with the game because some of that's going to be impossible almost um so they'd have to kind of make their own levels um so Space Taxi, an action game for the Commodore 64, written by John Kush Kutcher, Kutcher uh, published by Muse Software in 1984. It simulates a flying taxi controlled by thrusters. Mm. The game used sampled speech, including Hey Taxi, <laughs> Pad One Please, Thanks, and Up Please. Uh, these are said in a variety of voice pitches, creating the feel of different taxi customers. Uh, and it was nominated for Best Work in Progress Homebrew in the 5th Annual Atari Homebrew it Awards. Yep. It was. Uh, so let's get into the game. Yes, one of the more original games of the era <laughs> is very original. Didn't? Oh, he's oh, gone. Oh, they're flaky. Oh, they want, they want treats. They're sitting there going, treats, Oh, please. we've got a special uh, game for the treats. If you, anybody wants to give the cats treats before we start... So go to SD card. Yes. Today. It's treat time. It's treat yum. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, it's treat time. Who triggered the treat time? Oh, let's not load it yet. Not. Okay. Yet. We have. Thank you, Charles Wheeland. What is this? The ball arena. Oh, yes, yes, it's yes. It's cat soccer. They're like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> we we tried this. Once before? But it was on the open area, and yes. it was a kind of the ball went everywhere. We're going to see if this works. Now. And I've cut it down so it's not too tall, but not too short that it bounces out. I hope it's out. not too small. Uh, How many are no, we putting in? They can go on. They could, it's not too bad. Um, well, we should go 10. Best out of 10. Or 11, because then there's no ties, just in case they're tied. <laughs> No, you can't get one ahead of of, of one. Treat battle. We yeah. got to get a name for this. Yeah. Cat arena. What did what did we come up with? What was that? Uh, okay. Are you ready? What's... Are you ready? Are you ready? And go. Is it wide open? It's pretty wide. Okay. Oh no! Sprite's on it. Sprite's pushing it around. Keep trying. Atari. Atari. Look. Look. Atari. It's cat soccer. I would open it wide though. It is pretty wide. I feel like this isn't go. big enough, but... Oh, Atari's got in the act. He's got his paw out. Oh, oh, Did he get he one? Got one? Oh, Sprite's got one. got one. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Who, who's going to get the next one? Oh, no. Oh, oh he's Sprite. so fast. That's two. Two points. <laughs> oh, three came out. Oh, Sprite is gobbling oh, them no, up. Oh, no, 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 no. Atari, <laughs> Atari, Atari. Atari gets one. Atari, no. <laughs> No, that poor cat. He's brutal. Right, is up to five points all of a sudden. Oh, no. Atari, get oh, in there. Oh, my God, Buddy. the vacuum. Get in there. The vacuum that Sprite is. Come on, Atari. 
He's kind of figured it out. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Sprite steals Sprite. it. Six. Oh, Atari's got Yay! one. Yay! One for Atari. And he ran off with and it. And he ran off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Six to one. Oh, no. We'll give Six him extra to treats if he yes. doesn't get that many. Don't you worry. We oh, tried. seven to seven one. Seven to one. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. Oh, no. Mortal cat battle. <laughs> Kamadev, two cats enter. Thunderdome. One cat leaves fat. <laughs> fat. Eight to one. Oh no! It's like Atari's knocking. Oh. Oh. No, eight, to to two. Two. eight to two. Eight to two. Eight to two. And it's game point. Well, not game point. It's the last, last treat in the ball. Is it just one? Yeah, eight to two. Okay. That's ten. Oh. And it's out. And Sprite has gobbled it up. <laughs> Oh no, 9 2. 9 2. Okay. What a disaster. What a disaster is correct. Oh. Uh, give me a couple. Um, oh, is there one in there? Oh no, it's just the lid. Okay. Give me. I'm going to give Atari a couple because he, he didn't really get me that much. So poor Atari. Here you go. <laughs> Atari. These are for you. These are for you. Sprite engages in goaltending. Yeah, he does. They're in my hands, these silly cats. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here. Not you, not you. Here. They're too close to him. You can't see them. <laughs> he runs off with them. That's why Sprite keeps oh. growing. Yeah, he's a chonkers. No, it's done. You ate so many. <laughs> Look at he's that still face. purring. He's still purring. Like purr, more treats. Purr. Can I have more treats? Come here, come here, Atari. One more for you. One more. You're a good kid. Come here. There we go. That's a little bit more even. <laughs> yes. Poor, poor Atari. Let's look at the <clears throat> results. Okay. Before oh, we jump in. D-pad, 31%. Ooh, a lot of D-pad wow. fans out there. Didn't think it was that many. I like D-pads. Um, I do not like D-pads. 21% uh, for Arcade Stick. <laughs> Got... Uh, 15% for steering wheel, yoke, and handlebars. <coughs> Some people really like the uh, real world uh, style controllers. Um, then 10% tied for spinner paddle and trackball. Those are mm. fun. And 5% mouse and keyboard. Mm, oh, I didn't expect D pad to be so high. Interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's get. Back to the game, which is Space Taxi. That is a gorgeous title screen for 2600. That yeah. is almost exactly what the C64 it's one nice. looks like. Okay, just gonna warn you. Okay, don't go past this yet. Okay. Uh, oh, anyway. Um, so the button, have you played this before? Yeah, you played yes. this. Yes. Up, up is thrust up, don't crash, don't go too high. Um, every time it switches to the actual game, there's a frame drop because the line count is a little off. Okay. Um, some levels you'll have to push up just once and twice. Oh, it's very loud. Very loud. Can I leave? Yep. He says, up. Whoa! <laughs> Almost cracked. Look at that! That's so pretty. Very, very nice. Where am I going to? Uh, it says pad two. Just looking to see where the... Now in the original game, this has like a lounge chair and stuff, but now in the original game, if you land too hard, um, your um, tip goes down. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure by how much, but it goes blunk because you, you landed too hard for the customer didn't like that very much. I think Kev Kelly says, after years on a D-pad, you don't know how to play on a joystick. I don't know. Someone should reskin one-on-one -on -one Jordan versus Bird to be Sprite versus Atari. Huh? Aww. <laughs> they say, bring back the bell. Uh-huh. Oh. We still have the bell. The bell is not gone. No. We've just added some games. Added an extra game. Yeah. Hi. And um, they are going to add, Just Jeff is going to add in voices to this. Yeah. Um, and you can hear a little, little bzz. that's the start of a voice. You can hear kind of a crackly kind of thing. 
and uh, it's not going to be done by the Atari box. It's going to be done in game, so you don't even need an Atari box for it. Hey, 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 do you mind? Trouble cat. <laughs> he is. Uh, See that little dropout? So yeah. Make sure you press up just like once. Just, just once. Yeah. And not too early. You might crash the barrier. Uh, and also a warning, sometimes uh, if you put your taxi too far to the left yeah. and you, you land to let them off, they won't go very far, so you have to wait till they disappear or okay. you will crash. No, no Atari box. It's going to be uh, built into the game itself, so you don't even need an Atari box. That's cool. Yeah, so people without an Atari box will be able to enjoy um, the sounds. You're safe there. But if you drift over to the left and run into them, your your taxi will crash. You set up the uh, cartridges. Your next game. This is so much fun. <laughs> it is so good. They're just the the whole concept of it. Um so that's that's the first issue that I saw with this so far. It's still a work in progress, so there it is. I'm like, where's number two? Ah! Oh, why was that on? Because you press the button Did I? at some point. Well, I don't remember pressing it, but that's Okay, it. there's also a bug on this level. Okay. Just to let you know. If it says pad seven, it could be pad seven or eight. Oh. So if pad seven doesn't work, you just go to pad eight. Gotcha. Um, another bug is watch when he appears. Watch when the next guy appears. Okay. He, um, the, the, the game, whoa, first sets the horizontal position, okay. then draws the character, then sets the vertical position. Okay. Where it should be setting the horizontal, set the vertical, then draw the person. So you'll see the person appear on the screen in some random moment. Um, place and then move up or down all of a sudden and it's the same horizontal position as the last place they were so it's just that the instructions are a little out of order in the programming very simple fix don't, don't take off it's right beside you there you go so you saw the guy appeared like just to the right and then can i smush him uh, you could but you don't want to lose your no? lives okay you have three taxis it's at the bottom there three okay. You've earned twenty-eight dollars so far. Yay! Woohoo! Space Uber. <clears throat> now press up after it goes blank. Just wait. Wait a second. Okay. After it goes blank. Nope. Now right away. There. Up. Up. Okay. So pad two. Yeah. This one's a little a little tricky because you have to go around. And he hasn't implemented um, fuel yet. That oh, I there. Know yeah, of. I was gonna say. But you have lots of fuel. So it's not really, oh, that would have been a hard, a hard landing in the real game. Yeah, yeah, I am a little, yeah. Oh, Just Jeff is in the chat. Hey, hey woo. Whoa. You're probably well aware of the, the two bugs that I already mentioned. Oof, oof. Hard is that landing. too hard? On the, on the C64 game, it goes, do, 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 do. like it judders a bit when it lands. Oh, I see. And that's an easy thing to program into the game because you have a velocity yeah, amount can. of velocities and you know when it lands. So you go, oh, okay, is it too much velocity? And if you land with too much velocity, you'll crash. If you land with kind of a bad amount of velocity, you will just lose your tip. Don't take off. He's right un underneath you. There you go. <coughs> as far as I know, they never appear on the pad that you just dropped them off on. So it's always safe to kind of take off yeah. A little early. Did they ever on are, the C64 version? I don't think they ever reappeared on the same pad. Ooh, ooh, you're just on that. If your leg is off, you will crash. Oh, Tanya will crash. Don't worry. Eventually. We will see the plummet. <laughs> We're trying to do good. Okay, press up as well. Press up. Oh, that's fine. This Let's... one I tried a couple times and I couldn't get past it. But, um, Where am I going? Path three? I don't know why. We added a lot of levels, which is awesome. Yeah. And they all look very good. Oh my god. So hard. 
I'm just not used to back. the other version, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the guide wants to do it. Awesome. Yeah. Well. As I say that, of course. Don't say the... <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the closer you land to them... Yeah. I mean, it's a bit faster. Sometimes it's just not worth landing close just to be safe. Um, so March 19th, uh, Jeff posted, uh, sure starting to look different now. Also, you can hear the speech being triggered, but no speech yet. Die? I no, die? no, Just don't die. Don't die. Try and go as far as you can. It's not that hard. <laughs> but I mean, it's because it's I'm just you're... used to the old version. Oh, a lot of uh, a lot of trips on this level. Not really. Probably because there's only three pads. Maybe. It just seems that way. Yeah. And the dollar sign is an S because of this small font. Because <laughs> there's only three three pixels wide font, which is a very nice font. Still playing. Oh my goodness. Is this the last level, Jeff? And it just loops infinitely. We'll see. Hey, taxi. <laughs> the voices are so funny. I'm guessing on the C64 version they have the same sample, but it's just played faster or slower. Oh, yay! Said to get me to sixty dollars. I'm wondering why seven. Jeff doesn't use the ball and the other press up, just in case. Is this the first level again? It looks like. Did I loop? Not sure. Oh, you'll get four pads after this one repeatedly. Oh, okay, so this is technically the last level. So I should die. Yeah. You did awesome. No deaths. And... Crash into him. No, there's the guy. No. Oh. Yeah. Smush him. I think he makes a noise on the C64. When you crash into him? It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> the ball is the borders. Oh, so you're already using the ball. That's right. Okay. Nice. Yeah, of course you're using ball for the borders. This is so good. Because they're so, so thin. Good. Yeah, it's really nice. It looks so, so good. I've been very careful. Try and land really hard. Really hard? Yeah. See how hard that you can land. Don't squish him. You mean with the guy? Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't. Oh, sorry. Go to the next next level. Screen well, It does count up, but it's the same one. Different colors. Different colors. Yeah, yeah. Had three. What is the top right now? It doesn't look like it's flickering. This will repeat to level 12. Is that a sprite at the top? Player character? So you Looks want me to so land good. hard? Yeah, with it out. Not hard enough. Hard enough. Try a little harder. Up to level 12. Not super hard, but pretty hard. Yeah, there, there you go. go. The end. And it does move up a little bit. Very nice. Really, really, really nice. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty close to being done, the engine. The um, engine, yeah. I think just like... Um, the hard landings where you get less yeah. tip, I don't think it's done. Um, the voices, obviously, the that's voices. in a work in progress. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, the level design. I wonder if it's mm -hmm. possible for random locations of pads. You could. 
if they were like random but in in, in spots. specific spots yeah. yeah because it can't truly be random yeah um because they can't you have to kind of plan out where things are but mm -hmm. say on this level you could have them randomly vertical yes on either side um or say that post in the middle you could mm -hmm. have random one of this one side or the other um mm -hmm. yeah you could do a random pad kind of level but i don't know if it would add much to it um if you made some of them really close together yeah yeah, that would be difficult. So it'd be randomly, you'd get a couple that were that were really close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, excellent, excellent version. So good, like yeah, yeah. Really, really, looks really, good. really good. The taxi looks good. The people, <coughs> um, I guess you could animate their walking. That because uh, they kind of just shift a bit. It's not a big deal. No. Um, but it would add to it. The bottom looks great. Yes. Oh, you have to add the fuel in because the fuel. Oh, the doesn't fuel. Yeah, matter that's right. right. Now. Yeah, yeah. Um looks good though that's it, it. plays really it's fun really close it's really yeah. fun yeah, yeah. and it, yeah it good plays, job jeff it plays really <laughs> well um excellent excellent job i've been really hoping somebody would make this for the 2600 because there have been some starts in the past and yeah. we've highlighted those yes yes I read one that was like really complicated play field yeah where you had to go through this circle and it was like super complicated mm. um but that's all there was was one level yeah yeah um and just Jeff, why did you go? Why are you going with the built-in voice rather than the Atari Vox? I'm guessing that's so because you have room, and then it makes it for more people Playable can have for, it. Yeah, and you don't yeah. have to have the Atari Vox. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. If you wanted a fuel, you'll crash. That's done. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, okay good. Um, you just have to place the fuel. I know there's a landing pad on one of the levels that says F. Yes, there was one that said F. But it didn't fuel up when I've landed on it oh, okay. when I played it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, on to the next game, which is the strawberry game, which is called Berry Fun. Berry Fun. And um, for a uh, simple looking game, it has a lot of pages <coughs> of <me>. instruction <laughs> by Mike Littell. And... Um, it was Latom on the Atari forums. Mm -hmm. This was first posted March 25th. Um, Mike also did Electro Ball, which is an, another excellent work in progress game. Mm. You can download this one from the Atari forums as well. Uh, and he said, Very Fun is my latest homebrew project for the 2600. First being Electro Ball. This is an 8K F8 bank switch game programmed in 6502 assembly. I have a few projects in various stages of early development, including one me messing about changing the missile sprite over a few scan lines to make it look spritish. After reading Oscar Toledo G's book, Programming Games for the Atari 2600. Which we have. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the game examples in the book using non-sprites to make sprite-ish results gave me some further inspiration to make mm. it a fully featured game. Um, so let's read about the game, how to play. Uh, Farmer McDonald is trying out a new AccuPic 2600, the latest in automated strawberry pickers. It can detect how many ripe berries are available for picking and move to them. But the machine's 8-bit processor doesn't have enough clock cycles left to actually pick them. <laughs> so he's leaving it up to you to pick his crop. Very nice. Pick the ripe berries, but leave the unripe and rotten berries alone. Be quick about it. Farmer McDonald will grow more impatient with each row, giving you less time to pick, but offering more money per pick. Mm. Make as much money as you can before you either run out of extra chances, either due to berries that are not ripe or not making a pick when you need to. Or complete all of the available roles. Rows. Either one person can play by themselves, or two players can play at the same Ooh, time. Nice. Nice to pick the yummy strawberries together. Mm, strawberries. Uh, farming has never been so fun. You <laughs> might even say it's now berry fun. No. <laughs> bad Mike. Oh, bad puns are all part of the instruction manual. Absolutely. Always have been. Always. Uh, basic rules. Uh, each row uh, has a certain number of available ripe berries to pick. The berries, one, two, or three of them, will be in nine possible locations on the screen. Okay. So you can see there, good berry, bad, bad berry, berry, very bad berry. <laughs> I mean, it's just another bad berry. Just one that's one that's that's not Rotten. ripe enough, and one that has started to mold. A little there bit of go. mold on the bottom there, and a little bit of brown too. Fair enough. Great graphics. Uh, upon a successful uh, use. Of Joystick to uh, pick, move the picking target rectangle 
over the berry and press fire to pick. Upon a successful pick, you'll be awarded the current monetary value of the pick. Mm. If you pick an unripe or rotten berry, you'll lose an extra chance. Starting at row four, if you fail to pick at least one berry of any type, you'll also lose an extra chance. Mm. If you have no more extra chances and make a mistake, you will be done for the day and the game will end. <laughs> for every row you complete, you'll get an extra chance, up to six. <laughs> If you complete uh, row 2 on play mode or row 12 on work mode, you'll have successfully complete the game. In work mode, so you have two modes. Play. Teddy bear mode. Woo, Nettel mode. In work mode, starting in row 2, at the halfway point, the window of time to pick the amount of money you get for the successful pick will be cut in half. So be quick in your picks. Um, use a joystick. Make sure the cables are firmly plugged in. Um, all options or actions are controllable from the joystick, removing the need to be close to the game console for a true couch compliant experience. <laughs> I love that. It's making it into manuals now. <laughs> On the title screen, move the joystick left or right to select between work or play mode. Mm. On the title screen, press fire to start the game. During uh, the play mode, move the joystick. Yes. Okay. That's a lot of instructions. Oh, it's upside down. Stupid printer. Should I start? To um, it out as yeah, it's very self-explanatory. Up to the left. Oh my goodness. What? Yeah. Oh, you have to hold it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there you go. They're worth one cent each. It's very loud. Sorry, everyone. Every game is different volume. Sorry, guys, it's me and everyone else. Every game's different. So you finished row made one. it to row one. I think you ran out of tries, maybe? What? No, no. I, oh. I, I'm in row two. Oh, okay, you finished row one, I see. Oh. Oh. Hard. 17. Oh, you, you go too far. <laughs> and there were it's still one cent. Okay. Oh, goodness. Fast paced. And he says you have to get at least one to not lose your. Are you playing easy mode or hard mode? It's easy mode. Okay. Yay. So, an easier stress feed mode for practice. You always get one cent per successful pick. Nice. So you made 32 cents. Nice. 1.5 seconds per attempt to pick berries. And no unripe or rotten berries are present. Mm. There's no penalty for not picking a berry for a given location. Yeah. You get two total rows to pick and can earn up to 50 cents in total. So you got 32 out of 50. Mm. So there's no penalties. There's, it's no. just practice. It's just practice, practice. yep. Yeah. Uh, this should support the keypads. That'd be a very, that'd be, I don't Actually, know it would be, be easier. Boop, 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 boop. It would be faster. A little faster. Yeah. You'd have to alter the game mechanics, I think. So for this one, uh, the amount paid for a successful pick each round goes up. Uh, row one, 36 cents in row 12. The amount of time decreases. 1.5 oh. seconds in round one, 0.6 seconds in row 12. Starting in row two, after half the allotted time to pick is elapsed, the amount paid per successful pick gets cut in half. So you'll get less money if you do it slower. Like whack-a-mole with thumbs, yes. Very, it is. Very whack-a-mole-ish. Ah, too far. Oh, some unripe ones. They're quite distinct. Ah, oh. Slipped. Lost a, lost a life. Not only have to be fast, but you have to be accurate. You have to be very accurate. So now it's showing lives in the bottom. Did it start with four? Because you have three left. You're making two cents each now. Oh, it goes down to one cent really quick. Whack a berry. <laughs> Whack a berry. <laughs> there you go. Uh... Uh. And 
you get an extra life every row. What was it? Yeah, you got an extra life. Okay. Ooh, some rotten berries now. Oh, wow. Oh, now it's hard to pick them it out. Because it's full of berries. Are they always full now? Yeah. Looks like they're always full screen berries. Ah! Oh, you lost a life. You only have to get one good one, minimum. So as long as you have one, you don't have to panic about the rest. I mean, you do not get money. Yeah. And now it's uh, starts at four cents. It goes down to two cents. You'll have either one, two, or three berries to pick from a given location. Okay, so it goes up to three. Oh, get an extra life. But it starts at six cents. Oh, it's very hard. Six, then three. I'm guessing one. I'll just go six and three. Okay, it's only cuts in half. Instructions are super thorough. Super thorough, which is good. Ugh. Some some instructions are like let leave things out. Oh, I did it again. It's I go down, but I, I hit an angle. Oh, okay. Ugh. It's like I I, I mean to go straight down, but I kind of go on an angle and then I hit the wrong berry. It's like, it was the exact same screen that I screwed up <laughs> on. I'm maintaining lives. Mike says, I was going to try and make this a 4K game, but ran out of space, so... Oh, I can't read that. There's garbage in front of it. Ads popping up in front of it. Yeah. I don't want to disturb the game. It's okay. Wait till the row's done. Okay. Let's see if I see anything. Uh... Game select does switch between uh, player work. You don't want to use the joystick for whatever reason. Game reset, resets the game, and gives uh, full information about um, the rows on each level. Uh, it's impossible to lose during play mode. Mm -hmm. Here's some hints. Okay. Decide how aggressive you want to be in picking. To get the yep. most earnings, you'll need to pick early and often, yeah. but making too many mistakes will end the game early. Yep. Once you've stocked up on lots of extra chances, you can afford to take more risks. To pick more berries at a given location. There's no additional bonus for having extra lives at the end of the game. Nope. So this goes up to row 12. So okay. you're on row 5. Do you want me to keep playing or do you want to take over? Um, or do you want me to go to the end? I want you to play till the end and then I will play it for at least a little bit. Oh. <laughs> so you won't get an extra <laughs> life if I remember correctly if you miss one. Yeah, it was so it. fast. It was so fast. It is fast. So I used a lot of extra space for labeling flare. I think it looks great. And uh, somebody was in the forums was asking about the background, and he said it's just it's just random. And I believe it's from the code of the game, and it looks great because it's just two colors, and it adds that extra just decoration in the back. Two players can play at the same time anytime. Oh. Really? Oh no. Oh, I'm guessing one of one player is the top and one player is the bottom. Uh, arrows. Well, then I can join in. Yeah, join anytime. In? Okay. Ah. Which I'll read out the rest. Um, in my practice program, the missile uh, object looked a bit like a tar target reticle. So this would point towards a game being some kind of shooter, but what kind? Then I saw the NES game, Pokemon's Alley. How the way it played, uh, it was to hold the light gun up to the screen and shoot the targets. Uh, okay, so the game will be a shoot some things, don't shoot other things type of game. Uh. And what kind of, some kind of time limit to make no decisions. 
As to what objects to shoot and what to avoid, I was inspired by Kev Kelly's sequence of work games. That's what I was saying. We are playing a Kev Kelly game. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the type of game Kev Kelly would make because it's a work game. You're yep. picking strawberries. So funny. And Kev Kelly's game tonight is not a standard Kev Kelly game. It's a space shooter, which has nothing to do with work. It's so funny. Um... So why not make the game about picking fruit? After all, everyone loves games about food. Yes. Based on my special strawberries. Based on my limited artistic ability, I decided to make the focal point about strawberries. Pick the ripe strawberries, but avoid the unripe uh, berries. And the good thing about strawberries is that the colors are all on different levels. It's green on the top, and you can see make some see-through parts for the little um, seeds on the berries. And uh, you put the rod on the bottom. It's the perfect uh, fruit for making that. Same with bananas. Kev Kelly says thing. lol. <laughs> lol. One of the advantages of the Atari 2600 hardware capabilities is its color palette and its ability to display copies of the same sprite in the same line. So I use those to have the game feature a 9x9 grid of selectable objects. Uh, well, 3x3, three three, really. Um, but then it would lead, need to learn how to properly use the same sprite, different X positions, different scan line. Fortunately, I was able to learn how to do this by looking at some of Dennis DeBro's excellent annotated source codes. 2600 games. Um, ah. As well as Yard's Revenge S tactic for using actual source code as data values for the play field, allowing the dirt background to have some additional texture. It's dirt you're picking it out of the ground. Well, off the ground. Off the ground, not out of the ground. You're usually picking them off the plant, but... And, and they're sitting on the ground. Oh! Oh, oh, oh I died! Row nine. row 9! Super fun! I like it. It's 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 all, um... um what do I want to say? 1393. Uh, quick. <sighs> reflex. It's all reflex. Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Careful. Yeah, I have to get used to the angles. Yeah, you're, it starts off fairly slow after playing it to row nine. It seems very slow. Oh. Yeah, the angles. Oh it's God. all about the angles. Yep. <laughs> you're uh -huh. all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> have to get used to it. Kittens. Oh, my little soot sprite's here. Oh, Cuddling up. Soot sprite. Is your belly full of treats? Did you yes, steal? I ate them all. Steal all of Atari's treats. I steal treats? all of them. All the treats are stolen. Oh, he's so cute. You are so cute. Oh, I should demold. I made some zero peach coasters. Some resin Excellent. coasters. Excellent. I should demold them for you when when there's yes. a break. Not while you're playing, but. Can you bring them down? I can bring them down. Oh. I don't have them down yet. Bottom one. Hope they turned out okay. They usually do. They usually do. I think they were. Yeah, anyway. there might be some flaws in these ones. I might have to make some more. Can never have enough zero page. <laughs> can never have enough zero page. Oh, no, of course not. Does the pointer move directly to the joystick position? Up. Yes, yep. pretty much. Yeah, it does. Oh, we can get five um, lives. Can I play along with you? Uh, Anytime? yes. I think we should play that after. After? Okay. I lost a life. Mm. I had five. You'll get it back. No, no. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, so you get one on each, you were saying? You get an extra life? I think so. You have to get all of them. So. All of them! All of them! <sighs> all the points. No! Oh, no! Another life lost. <laughs> Randomized. Is this top score also randomized? 
or does it even out after a while? Tokoas is the background random. It is. It's using the source code of the game That's to make cool. it like Yars Revenge did. Give up on that. Spaced apart. Yeah, I usually just kind of go for two at a time because if they're two in a row, you can get them quite easily. Yes. In theory, if you pick all ripe berries quickly, you can make up to $99.99. Oh, okay. Is that like you max out? Yep. In theory, says my oh, hotel. Just picked a bad one. Oh, no. oh, I lost my five lives. Oh, no, you've ruined the jam. Ruined <laughs> the jam, yes. Is the person who uh, gets that flat of berries finds the bad one. Should just be an animated it. James at the end eating jam out of the jam jar. That's right. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Spitting it out if there's any bad ones. Good luck getting 99 99 cents. That's hard. Oof. Hi. This cat. Oh, he's so cute. He's the sweetest. He is. They're both so sweet. Even though he eats all of the treats. He has way too much energy, this cat. He just <laughs> tires out Atari so much. Oh. 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 Uh oh. Oh, I missed one. Oh, oh it's no. having trouble. It's having trouble. Some, some line cap issues. No! <laughs> Oops, that's my cut. <laughs> oh, it's so, back. It's back to working. Still that's a work good. in progress. Yeah. I don't know why all of a sudden they had that. It's very strange. Nothing different is on the screen. Same kernel. Very, very weird. Recently, that I can add break if scan. Oh, in Stella, it can catch this. Yeah, um, it can. Oh, I'm down to one life. No. I've got a lot going on in vertical blank and over scan, so it's a balance. Oh, I see. Yeah. There's a lot. Good try. This game. Oh, I made it to row nine, right? Was it row nine or row eight? I think it was row nine. Have to be more careful. I think as it gets faster, get you one. do have to be very careful. <laughs> yeah. You just get them when they're too yeah. Ooh. Oh, I was around that, that score, that too, extra around life. 13. <laughs> yeah, just keep putting them in the middle, please. <laughs> oh, I love it when they're in the middle. You're like, ding! <laughs> ding! Oh, barely enough. Raspberry jam on the brain. I oh, yeah. Yeah, strawberry jam. This game is fast paced. Question marks, too. Oh, oh no! no! Going for the right one, but I pressed at the wrong time. In a future version, I plan on implementing save key support. Oh! Thanks to the Atari H forums, there's some readily available source code code for it. Very Excellent. nice. I mean, anything with score, you yeah. might as well go for a save yeah. key and have a high score in there, which means you'll have to implement a high score routine as well. I think we already had. No, he, oh, he has a high score already on the front screen. Yep, yep, the score highest. and high score. Yeah. Um, dollars. No, I think you got it. I think so. Oh, oh no. no! One left! No! One 
left. Is it one in reserve, or is it the one I'm playing? One left, and then you're kicked out of your berry picking job. Right. Too many rotten berries in the basket. No! Okay, it is one in reserve. You did it right. Mm. <laughs> you did it right. Just one. Just get one. Just the middle one. No! Good job, row 10. 21. Okay, Very let's good. play two players. Two player. Yeah, it does get hard. It, it does it get ramp, fast. It ramps up pr pretty slowly. Not super fast. So you, so you get a good amount of play time in there. Yep. Okay, first button. Best and last. Okay. So let's see how two players Do you want to do it on the no, play no, no, first no, no, or just... No, no, let's go for it. Oh, oh my god, totally... that's so confusing. I'm blue. Oh, I see. It's different. Um... So we're competing. No, we're working together. Does that mean? So I'm blue. wreck each other's game. So what, what do you want to concentrate? I don't know. I'll do, I... I'll do bottom and left. And top you do top and, and right. right. Ah! What are you doing? berries. Yeah, it works seamlessly with oh my, with two players. Really smart way of implementing it on um, separate scan lines. Ah, ah, oh! You screwed me up there. That was your berry to get. Oh, I picked the wrong one. I'm sorry. It's okay. More chaotic with two people. It definitely is. Ah, oh, oh my that God. was me. Sorry. <laughs> double the chance of getting them, and double the chance of picking the wrong ones. Ah, because <laughs> it, it kind of screws you up seeing the two moving too. It does. Uh, really Harder. cool. It's <laughs> It's actually harder with it two is, people. It is, it is, yeah. Keeping track of your cursor. People making mistakes, yeah. and you have to figure out which area of the screen you have to concentrate on. <laughs> really, really great really graphics nice in this game. game. Yeah. Great concept. Simple. Simple, easy to learn, yep. hard to master. Yeah. Best type of games. I love the random background. Mm -hmm. Such a smart idea to constantly change the background. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, it's nothing nothing bad to say about this whatsoever it's so well implemented um and it's just the right type of game for a 2600 <laughs> um okay on to the next game great job mike thank you for being in the chat yes. and answering our questions um you can download that game in the atari age forums there's no more treats under there no is he still looking uh the next game we're going to be playing is beyond parsec by kev kelly who is <coughs> also in the chat excellent hello kev kelly so kev can help us with any questions and this is strictly two players Good. yeah see if you can figure out those screen rolls they're very they might be hard to pin down i mean it only happened kind of in one string yeah. one row but at least you know what yeah. was on the screen when it happened yeah. that might give something away might yeah. help i'm not sure hopefully it does um okay so the next game is uh, Beyond Parsec. It is a two-player um, shooter. There's asteroids. Mm. It's really, I, I don't know how it's gonna play because it is not a one-person game at all. So I only played it by, one, uh, by myself, which is not really playing it at all. Um, okay, so let's get the game up on the screen. Change out the game. Okay, go for it. Load her up. Um, so, Kev Kelly. Uh, it's from Grocer Games. 
This first part uh, po posted March 12th. Uh, other games by Kev Kelly. ATCS 2600. Bag Boy. Beyond Parsec. Cone Ball. Cross Dock. Forest Moon Attack. Late Eol Lake Eola. Long Lake Boy. Boy. Litter Boy. Hey, Raymond C. Hey, thank you, Raymond C. For subscribing. Uh, Litterbug, Pinfinger, Pizza Boy, Lineman, Quiz Tarian, Stagecoach. Uh, this is a port of... Oh, I need to write down that support. I didn't know. Do I have a window of support? Not here. Uh, of the Texas Instruments 99 slash 4A game by John Phillips that I wanted to try and make sometime. As some may know, the TI 99 4A was my first computer. I never had this game, but played it a couple times years ago when I bought a final G-ROM cartridge and thought it was awesome. I also tried to figure out how to make this work and originally thought about simplifying gameplay, but eventually landed on using DPC Plus after reading in the forums. I think it was Robot Z Thread decided to experiment with the DPC Plus stack. The basic idea is that there are 10 asteroids and <coughs> two spaceships. Each player controls a spaceship and can move back and forth and fire. Okay. You can fire at the asteroids to make them accelerate or decelerate in either direction, uh, okay. shoot the opposing player, okay. or crash into the opposing player all while dodging asteroids. Okay. The game is not finished. Right now I have preliminary... Oh, this is probably old. Um, I also need to program the city at the bottom of the screen. It's there now. Um, Kev I, Kelly, now eight. Now eight asteroids. There's, there's not ten That's on the screen. That's fine. Yes, we can there's accept more eight. than enough asteroids. <laughs> if I get that all taken care of, I want to try and add a little twist to this game by bat, maybe by adding more obstacles, mm. gun turrets at the bottom of the screen, Ooh. teleporters, or random enemy spaceships. Ooh, okay. That's some uh, good ideas there. Okay, so Tanya is red. I am blue on the right. Oh, I see. So you can either shoot at each other. And we're not quite close enough. There oh, we go. you got me. I thought I hit you. And now Tanya's nine ships left. Oh my god, you can get really close. So you can move anywhere you want on the screen. Am okay. I supposed to hit you? Is that the point? Or Yep. Or... I hit a asteroid. Asteroid and run you into an asteroid. Gotcha. Oh, I did find a bug when I was playtesting this earlier by myself. Yeah. I can't shoot. Well, I can shoot, but you just can't see me shoot. Oh, and in, in see certain this lines. Asteroids. I'm shooting yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, and I'm not until I die. So I have invisible shots right now. Oh. Which makes it what? harder for you. Oh, I died. <laughs> so I'm back now, and my shots are back. Oh. So that's something to look into. You probably encountered it because this is like the second game in the same day that I've seen, ah! that, seen that happen. <laughs> Shoot your corpse as it falls. Come on, come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Oh, that, yeah, that's not really fair, is it? There's no way you can come out. <laughs> Let me see if you can. Because this needs to be fixed if if this is possible. Oh, okay, <laughs> double, never mind. Double death. That is not a good tactic. Oh. Ooh, but I can do this. Yeah, me. And get this asteroid going. But that's bad for me, too. Yeah, it is bad the for you. The thing with the asteroids is very interesting. It is, because, because they can come and smack you in the back. Because ah, they're, they're bad for... Up. Whoa. That I was weird. I just dodged that. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess it doesn't end at zero. Oh, I have invisible shots again. Oh, you're not even, I'm not even hitting you. Oh, oh, you can go left and right. Oh, oh you got me. This is interesting. Oh, you have 99. Oh, no, 99 lives. <laughs> it's in, it's still a work in progress. Yeah, that is not a good tactic. No. I happen to get oh, you on the now first Now my one. shots are invisible. If oh, they're even there. They are. You can test it by um, firing on an asteroid. I don't find my shots are doing anything with it. In some cases, my okay, shots are accelerating the asteroids towards me. Look, they're not moving. It, it, it has to slow down. No, sometimes they accelerate it's on me. It's slowing down. Yeah, but it, last time I could oh, see, uh, isn't that crazy? <laughs> that is interesting. Yeah, something's going on there. <laughs> ah. Oh, multi-death. Oh. 
See, it accelerated at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. Ah, uh, multi-death. When you're continuously firing, as you probably should be in, um, if the uh. other person, you have to kind of get around the other side of the person, really. Because the chance of you getting hit is exactly the same as them getting hit if you're both firing at each other. Unless you have invisible shots like I do. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, I have 994 what? lives. What? How do you have 994 lives? <laughs> I guess I have three digits and you have two digits for your what? lives. What? Funny. Oh, I have invisible shots. Watch out. Same here. Oh, we both have invisible shots. Or, uh, oh, I don't know. I, we we should have shot each other. I'm not entirely oh, sure. Oh, damn it. Okay, mine are invisible. Don't shoot. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't I'm stop not shooting. I'm trying to shoot you. Stop shooting. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that it just. Stop shooting. Okay. Okay, come up. Oh no, I can't shoot you. Oh. Must be using hardware collision for that. Eighty-eight nine ninety-one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eighty-eight nine ninety. I'm not sure what's happening with the uh, oh. invisible. Well, the lasers have been fixed. I'm still trying to figure out the asteroid itself heading towards me. Ah, okay. <laughs> I think it happens when the laser travels through the asteroid. Oh. It's kind oh. of funny. And hits the other side of it, maybe? I don't know. Is the acceleration... how, how would it go through, though? It doesn't quite make sense. Well, See? Look at it. Well, look how fast it's going, right? It is not perfectly moving pixel by pixel yeah, along the true. screen. So it'll jump past the asteroid, appear on the other side of the asteroid. True. Now it depends if he's using. Ah, it just accelerated to me again. Hardware it's collision or software collision for things. So. Oh, yours came back. Oh. Right I think he probably should use software collision because then you can just say if. It collides uh, with the asteroid, and you're on the left-hand side of the asteroid, and then go the opposite way. Because if it's hardware collision, no, well, actually, it doesn't even matter. You can do hardware collision and then do a compare uh, of the relative position of you oh. and the asteroid, and then right. calculate the acceleration based on that. It. Yeah, asteroids are quite a hazard now. <laughs> they are uh, oh, gosh. moving all over the place. I'm trying to get that one to slow down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Once the asteroids are going, mm. it's it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, you can slow them down. Oh, I don't have any p shots. Neither do I. Oh, now they're accelerating towards me. <laughs> Even though I have no shots. That is funny. You can't shoot each other when you have no shots, but you can oh. shoot the asteroids when you have no shots. Which to me, that leads me to believe that they are... It's not hot. Or the shots are just black, and you can't see them. Well, you need to be able to see them through the asteroids. Very interesting concept. I'll have to look at the original game to see what, um, what else is implemented in the game. I think adding in other dangers would be a really good thing. Because then it would um, introduce some randomness rather than it's just you and the other player against. I mean, the asteroids are good as well. Oh, what were we, do were we I was doing? Trying something? to play with the asteroids and actually get them to slow down instead of speeding up and ramming into me. So. Oh, okay. That's okay. You have nine. You have nine hundred and seventy-seven ah. points. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, how could the shots be black if the player isn't? True. Uh, I was. Oh, they're not. See, they're not anyway. They're different colors. They're different colors. Yeah. 
Once I leave the ship. Missile zero and missile one. Oh. Hmm. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to make a single player version, kind of how I made Combal Com AI. Uh -huh. I don't. You'd have to. Mm, yeah, it'd be very hard to program an AI to avoid all this stuff and shoot the other player. Yeah. Very hard on a 2600. You'd have to have something that's maybe in vulnerable to the asteroids. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and just fly around and kind of oh, chase you yeah. around. Yeah. Um, that, that might be something. Um, very good start. Very. Yeah. So let's get on to the next game. Great, great job, Kev. Excellent. And I really wanted to really fun. play it with two players yeah. on the show yeah, to yeah. kind of get a feel for uh, where the game is. Um, okay. Uh, next game, and last game, is Carrot Kingdom. Carrot Kingdom. Now, we played this in 2018. Oh, really? You may not have. I don't recall Carrot uh, Kingdom. I would th think I would remember that name. It's quite yes. a distinctive name. It doesn't have star or missile or <laughs> space space in the title, which True. to me all kind of blend together they after do. a while. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Carrot Kingdom. Uh, first posted in October 9th, 2015. So it's been uh, <laughs> in the works for a long time. It was actually released kids. Um, on a uh, cartridge um on where is my notes oh where is that um so they did this game through kickstarter okay uh it went live december 31st 2020 it reached its goal two weeks later oh, 2021 wow. and then shipped uh, a couple months after that nice nice, nice. Uh, it was 55 dollars us and it is a platformer game, and okay. you can use a Genesis controller mm. for two-button support, which we definitely will want to do. We're going to okay. get D-pad going. D-pad. So for all those people who love the D-pad <laughs> and voted for it as their favorite controller ever, this is for you. <laughs> there you go. RC70 Sprite acts just like our floof. Aww. Does he play fetch and kind of bark as he runs around like a dog? Surprisingly, Atari plays fetch. Is a very good fetch cat. Very good. And he Sprite. makes growly noises when he has something in his mouth. He'll go... Rawr. Sprite has never played fetch. Yeah, not really. No. No, he's not really a fetch cat. He loves no. to jump. I recently posted a video he of him jumping. Jump. And we have like a cat dancer, which is like a big wire with with cardboard on the end. What's their account? What's the cat account? Oh, uh, Pixel, uh, Pixel and Atari, Atari and N Sprite. Atari N Sprite. It's yeah. treat Instagram. time. It's yum, time. yum, oh, yum, it's yum. Treat time. And he'll jump like six feet in the air and flip around trying to get this cat dancer. It is unbelievable. Oh yeah, he's good. Sorry. He's he's just he jumps so high. He's got so much energy. This little kitten. What oh, did you want treats? What is that? Did, did you hear you the say? treats? <laughs> Where's your brother? You can't have treats without your brother. Go get your he brother. He ran off. And where's the other bell? Oh, here comes your I brother. I was very delayed. Well, he heard the bell. Well, where's the other bell? Oh, the I didn't hear the... There it is. It's, it's there somewhere. It's just right at the top. Okay, so who wants treats? <laughs> we do. Thank we you, do. Matoko. Yeah, happy cats. You make the cats very happy. So. It's bell time. This out of the way. Let's see. Who's ready for it? Oh, shut the door. Shut the door. Yeah. No. Oh, but with the cat in. <laughs> cat. Come on. He, he hears someone upstairs. Terry. Come Treats. On. Come on. Oh, kitty. Come inside. Come on. He's trying to, he hears someone running around upstairs. Come here. Come on. Come on. Tari. <coughs> Come on. Treats. Okay. Oh. Don't be that way. Don't be that way. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Come here. Tari. silly there's a treat right there can't have treat time without both cats <laughs> he's i'm I, there you go okay okay shut it quick oh, while he's in <laughs> there we go 
Trouble. Okay. Two. Now we start. Oh. Okay. One. We'll no, call it one. We'll call that one. one. Oh. One one. One one. You silly cats. Very silly. Sprite is ready to go. Two one for Two, Sprite. One. That didn't count. No. Nope. He accidentally hit it while he was going for it. <coughs> oh, again. Oh, no. A little harder. Didn't hear it. Three one for Sprite. Three one. That's hard. Good. Well, three two for three, Sprite. Two. Four two for Sprite. Sprite is kicking ass as per usual. Yeah. Oh, stopping to clean. Oh. Five three for Sprite. Treats run to go. The says. Treats. Next. Six three for Sprite. Keep trying to catch it in midair. Doing pretty good. Six four for Sprite. Seven four for Sprite. <laughs> Seven five for Sprite. Eight five. Eight five for Sprite. Eight six for Sprite. Catching up a little bit. So nine six for Sprite. Uh oh. It is game point. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Come on, one more. Oh, oh, Sprite's going for it. Ten oh, six. Ten Final six. score. <clears throat> Hit one to Atari. Yeah, there you go, baby. I gave him two. <laughs> oh, and Sprite got the other one I gave him. That's okay. Good kitties. Good kitties. Good kitties. Good kitties all around. I'll open the Many door for good you. Good kitties. Now. You can go explore what's going on upstairs. There you go. Yeah, go check it out. <coughs> Fight those intruders. He's a security cat. Okay, it is time for Carrot Kingdom. Uh, it is called <coughs> a new hit for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Join Ginny, the adorable cat. Girl maid on her quest to defeat the era evil Carrot King in a huge side scrolling adventure for your Atari 2600 VCS. Don't start. Run, jump, and throw yarn balls through Ooh. huge multicolor levels, all while defeating challenging and complex bosses. Okay. Ginny puts the purr in perfect adventure. <laughs> It's a cat game. It's a cat game in R Carrot Kingdom. Cute. Uh, limited number edition sold out as of May 2022. Wow. Uh, guide Ginny through huge, lush, several color levels, including Spooky Haunted Forest, where you co contend with spooky carrot ghosts. Fight complex bosses. In her quest, Ginny will fight some of the most complicated bosses you'll find. Okay, so I would do easy. Okay. And then go down to start. Very nice uh, arrows for the menu. And a very complex sprite there. So one is jump and one is throw things. And you can uh, throw as many things as you want. Make sure you know how to throw things. There you go. And we've got, it's got his two button support. Is this a bad That's your kitty. Oh, hi kitty. Ted Kelly says, I wish I could have got the cart right there so at the top. Lives, you get three hearts. Um, if you fall down a pit, shoot. Oh. And you lose. If you fall down a pit, you lose a life. If you get hit by something, you lose a heart. So you jump up for the bad things that come at you. They can be coming before you too. So yeah. You can shoot. Turn very around. hard. Just jump and shoot. Yeah, I guess that's true. Don't need to turn around. It's fire. Very nice fire. Um, in her quest, Ginny will fight some of the most complicated Aww, bosses you will find. Two lives left. Uh, on the Atari 2600 VCS, like the Ninja Bunny chocolate. Um, how to play when you start 
uh, up the game, use fire to select your difficulty. Fire will also make Jenny jump. And down on the joystick will Jenny throw a yarn ball. Unless you have a Genesis controller. Uh, yarn uh, guide Jenny jumping and throwing yarn balls at enemies, scrolling to the right in each level. After a bit, you will encounter the boss enemies who has lots of health. Defeat all three and you win. Pred cat. Ah! Jump over those. Jump. Ah, I can't! the jump button. Bread cat. Defeat bread cat. Game over. You gonna play again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think <laughs> Just you needs should. Just a bit of practice. Cute ghost. Yeah, very good scrolling. Um, single play field scrolling, which is more than enough, and it moves fast enough to give that uh, decent illusion of scrolling. Looks like they have 30 hertz flicker on the character. Secret final boss. Zero followed ZPH. Thank you for following. Oh. Jump and fire. Jump and fire the jump. Mm. Yeah, to get more colors on the same line. Ah. What are you doing? Just run. You paused. I didn't mean to go forward. That's the Oh, problem. I see. And so they uh, flicker 30 hertz on one player character. And for the Ooh, what? How did you I, jump I out fell of the and pit? Jumped. Excellent double jump. Whoa! Hits. Jump, jump, double jump while falling. Ah! It's so hard. Give you a hand. As soon as he fires, just jump. Nope. Well, maybe not that cool. Maybe not, maybe not so yeah, maybe not. So but it, it comes pretty. pretty quick. Dead bread cat. Bread yeah. cat dissolves in the water. Sprites are great. Yeah, the uh, player character is really, really good. All the sprites. A def deafening roar erupts. The Stygian bread cat is crumbling. Ginny flees to a dark forest where she thinks she thinks it is safe. Press fire. Ooh, fade out of the characters. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is actually very odd. There's a ghost that comes to the right and left. Okay, never mind. On the hard, it comes from the right and left. On easy, just to the right. Lots of energy. This jump is very hard. As you hit your head. Oh, I was trying to get to the edge. Uh, I, I think you're, you're good where you were. I think you're right. Red Cat reminds me of the Sphinxes from Desert Falcon. Yes. Except cuter. <laughs> The ghosts are super cute. They're like carrot ghosts? Because they have the little leaves on the top? Yeah, there's nice. Jump at you. Yay! Ah, 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 ah. Those aren't so bad. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna do easy mode. You can do hard. You did hard before, didn't you? Hard is I wanna hard. see hard. I wanna see everything hard that comes hard. after you. Hard. Hard is so hard. The ghosts. The ghosts come. I didn't get my arm. Uh, okay. Hold on. I'll be right back. I didn't see any differences in between easy and hard when she played, except for the ghosts. There was two ghosts that came. Bread cat time, it's bread cat time. Sorry. It's in my fault. 
forgot to jump. But that's okay. It's so hard. Out of life. It was life. I guess. <laughs> Get that bread cat. Bread cat. Melt it. Throw water Our on it. Our cats are crumb cats. They eat crumbs off plates. Oh, bread cats are very naughty. Yeah. Bread, cat. <laughs> bread cat is toast. <laughs> oh, gee, that's oh, awesome. I just saw that. That's a terrible pun. <laughs> Spice where the torch has a cat tail. Ooh. Does look okay, okay, but this is hard. Yeah, the hard one. Oh, I see. The one behind you comes up so hard. I like guess it keeps moving almost forward. on you. You have to turn around and Yeah, that's the, oh, the hard one. Well, you don't You don't hit your head. Yeah, you just hit your head. Oh. Oh. oh, that's hard. Kitty! Kitty. Yeah, you're all cat. 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 Is that, uh, is that a... Sure. I was gonna say, is that like a milestone? Will you die and come back oh, there? Oh, maybe. I have it one looks... Heart. These cats are like, what is this on the ground? <laughs> I think my... My uh, coasters are where they want to hang out. Look at that. Sniff, sniff. Oh, oh he, he wants to knock him. Of course he does. Way, way to go. Damn oh, it! No. Mm. Cat? Yeah, it is your checkpoint. That's the term. Maybe. What are you doing? He's trying to eat it. What are you doing? There's no there's no uh, cat food in there, sweetie. Oh, but there needs to be cat food in there. Oh, don't need it. No. Of course now. Cat, I just... Oh, look at that big carrot. What are you doing? Get your thumbs up. Oh, I got hurt. That's what it is. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Chocolate? Oh, oh. Oh, second form. Oh my god. Damn it! <laughs> oh no! I got hit immediately! Arrgh! Still too hard since I just dodged. Immediately. Dodge the crazy carrot. It's very scary. It's like a carrot shake. It's like been carved up to be a to be a knife, you know? Run immediately oh, and go to the job. right because afterwards you go to the left. left. Good? Oh, I see. You're, yeah, I guess. You just gotta make sure you've got the space to run under it. Oh my god, that was yeah, so you close. cut it so close. I, I can only move so fast. Chocolate bunny. Oh, I'm in the pit. Oh my god. Oh. Really? One second of oh, no. battle toads? <laughs> okay. Can do uh, it again. Just making that dodge by a hair, says RC. Oh, oh the puns are coming fast now. <laughs> okay. I can do it again. <laughs> How many levels? How many bosses? It's not much after that. I am stupidity this time.
Spread cats. I swear it's the same um, fire noises as VHS. <laughs> oh my god. It might be. <laughs> it sounds like it. It sounds like it. They want her to battle a cat and went, that cat looks like it's made of a loaf of bread. <laughs> it probably came from the original graphics. It's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, he looks like bread. Yeah. Oh, this <laughs> is, this is <laughs> Lofi. Lofi cats. Lofi cats. <laughs> Beware when bread cat starts making biscuits. Thank you, Gamma <laughs> Dad. That made my day. <laughs> oh, the cat puns. The cat puns. Uh... <laughs> No! Oh, you oh. have to time it so perfectly with those guys. Oh Good my job. god. Oh, and Good a heart. Job. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Maybe, maybe Bread Cat just likes to live. Did anyone else see that? What did you bring? What is this? What is this? No, oh, you stole socks? He stole clean socks. Oh, is the bedroom open? They feel wet. Have yeah, you been it's drooling all over these socks. They're wet. Where did you get those from? They're in a drawer usually, right? They're very not Why are they wet? Because <laughs> he's been drooling them. Bedroom open? Cats. Oh my god, he just throws you right in the thick of it. Oh yes, that's probably what I'm What is it? What a funny shirt. I mean he wanted to bring a gift, I guess. Weird. <laughs> Weird what cats. Is he? It was like rolled up ball of socks, but it was kind of wet. Damn it! Damn it! I just lost two. Where did you get those from? Two health. Did you hide them somewhere? <laughs> I don't even know where he got them. One of our cats used to open Damn it. dresser drawers to get out socks and underwear, but he stopped. I kind of miss it. I don't know where he got those Damn socks it. from. Oh. You're okay. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You've got two hearts. I still don't know where he got those socks from. Did he steal them from like our laundry and then hide them and then, and then dump <laughs> them in his later. water dish? That's kind of weird. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. Damn it. Did you get hit? <laughs> Good, I didn't lose a life. Oh my god. Okay, now it's dodging Battletoads stuff. Oh, Battletoads. Okay. It's the racer level. Okay, I did play this. Um, that was it? Briefly. Oh, oh much worse. No, oh, this is 100% like Battletoads. <laughs> oh yeah. Except it's up, down, every single time. Oh, well, good. that's good. It's just more of a... <laughs> You're on like a skateboard or something here. It looks Hoverboard. Like, no, it looks like um, rollerblades. Mm -hmm. One on each foot. Uh, it could be. Oh, I almost got hit there. Oh. Oh, and you die. So unforgiving. Very, I'm gonna go right to the top. Yeah. Right to the bottom. Be very careful. I was 
having fun with having to wear mismatch, mismatched socks because he stole so many it was hard to find a pair. <laughs> oh, no. That is a fun That's cat. That's a naughty cat. Cats are so funny. Are you naughty? Where did you get those from? I noticed they were black socks too. They matched him. Like they had just come out of the washer or something. They were really wet. They were very damp. Oh, I can't remember. That's after really this. weird. Did he? He must have thrown them in oh, his Oh gosh. Dish. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Are you done? No. We got to see the last boss. Oh. That is the last boss. We'll have to play it again to get to the end. I played this on Stella. Yeah. I had to rewind so many times on that boss. Oh yeah. It just kills you. Really hard. Like it's really hard. You have to jump over those hands at exactly the right moment mm. and then shoot, 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 shoot. Gotcha. Shoot, jump over the hands. Yeah. Yeah. Hard, 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 hard game. Yeah. Um, I could probably make it back to that level again. Yeah. Without dying. But then I will die three times in a row on those mm. hands. And I'll and I won't complete it again. Um, very good game. So cute. Yep. The sprites and the characters are fantastic. Really I love good. the the carrots and <laughs> the kitties and the bread oh, cat. Yeah. Very funny. Very very funny. Um, they really creative. They said that they were they may do another printing. Oh nice. An unlimited printing of the cartridge. Like and on box. demand kind of. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, there's no ETA of that, mm. um, but could happen. Could. Happen. Yeah, if you didn't get it for your collection before, you yep. may get another shot. Um, and if you want to try it out, it is downloadable in the Atari forums. So we're going to show your thing? I, I, I am. I think we're... Do we need a close-up? Or you can kind of see it here. Okay. You can switch to a close-up if so, you want. So I have my holder for... I already made this already, my zero page. This is to hold them. Yeah. And I made four, and I know a couple of them didn't turn out too well, so we'll see how golden, they look. Are they golden or are they orange? They're, well, they're gold. They, they're kind of an orangey gold. So it's gold yeah. and black is my theme with, with some glitter. And um, I will, I don't know, unmold them. So this is actually pulling so, it off for the first time? For the first time. Okay. And they're set? They're very set? They're set. They, they need to be finished, but they're set. Um, a little off center. Oh. This one's a little weird. This one is off-center. This one I knew kind of got a little messed up. Yeah. So there's one. Yeah. Zero page. Ooh, sparkly. Very nice. Look at the sparkles. Sparkly. Very sparkly. Just on your yeah. mouse says ooh. It shifted, unfortunately. Yeah, that one shifted And this one also went a little funny. Here's the other gold and black. This one, I think, was a little bit more centered. So you're taking them out of the molds. Out right of the now. molds. Woo. Yeah, I regret the, the glitter, too. I'm going to have to redo them. That one's a bit more centered. It's that more one's centered. That one's it's just the glitter really congregated in one area. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Fatoka says, I need one of those. <laughs> That's one special collector. I will make a few. Yes. Might be making them available at yeah. some point, some maybe. Point. We'll see. I have to test out a few more designs. I like this one. I like some of the other ones I've done in the past. Sparkly. This Mike one's Littell nicer. Says, this one's nicer. I like the black The black ones. looks better. The gold is so-so. Show that one under the camera. After, well, after you unveil okay. the last one. This one is definitely nicer. The the, the black ones, the um, printing, which has like a shiny on the surface, broke up a bit too. So those yeah. ones didn't turn out I'm too so well. I'm so keen on the orange. <coughs> I have another gold. gold as well. I have another gold. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, <coughs> just dying. Yeah. Gold on black is definitely classier. Yep. Yeah. A look at the sparkles on that. I really Showed like the sparkles. The um, I will in a second. Okay. And then the last one. Or should yeah. I, uh, should I, I'll demold yeah, the last it, one. Yeah, do it under the camera. Okay. Yeah. Flip it around there. You gonna put the cat cam on? Okay. There it is on the back. That's the backing to it. Yeah. yeah. Pull off the mold. And then, boop. Ooh, that one turned out really nice. That one's the best one. Oh, kind of goes go. silver in the right light. Bend it down again. All right, a little bit more. There, silver. That's just in the light, I think. Yeah. It's definitely gold. Gold on black. Very nice. That one turned out, so the black ones turned out well. The gold ones, eh. I think it's the black glitter. I'm not so fond on that. This one was a little off-center. Yeah, I don't like the orange. The gold is a little orangey. I have another gold that's called a shinier gold. It's less that orange. I'll have to better. try that next yeah. time. But uh, anyway, 
it's still a little tacky on the back, but yeah, it takes a while to fully set. There you go. Yeah. Everybody likes them. Yay! They do look nice. We we they do look nice. I'm gonna make a few more. And we do Something use these kind of things too. as coasters. We have coasters we all do. over the house. We have, we have tons. I love making coasters, so I yeah, have lots of coasters. There's a white one. I like the white one, too. The white the white background's nice yeah. as well. And there's the rainbow yeah. lettering. Rainbow lettering on that one. Yeah, yeah I'll have to make a bunch yeah. and then uh, offer them somewhere. I don't know. Price them accordingly. Price, price accordingly. <laughs> yes, correct, correct. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, oh, oh. oh. So we played uh, Space Taxi, really good. It's almost there, just some levels to do. Space Taxi. I'm listening, okay. I'm listening. I'm just looking uh, at them. Very fun. It was yeah. uh, a lot more fun than I thought it would be. It's simple it's and really fun and to play. And hectic. It hectic. gets crazy. Very hectic. Um, you're going to bring those to PRG 2023. Oh, probably we'll bring we'll some things bring to some. give out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Beyond Parsec. Uh, needs uh needs some more something more going on there's mm. a couple bugs there but um yeah i think some of the ideas that kev had for it um like some, things shooting up at you would help a lot but everybody i think there should be a special zph crafting night you've threatened to do that i will do crafting it. crafting while we play games so we, like on an after dark we just enclosed our balcony so yes. i now actually have a space to do my crafting which is Craft fantastic so we can just bring the camera up there and i can do a little crafting i it is cast resin yeah i i they're all cast re resin from molds yeah. um they turn out quite nice yes yeah um and carrot kingdom very fun platformer very fun yes hard Hard as hell. <laughs> I wish yes. there was a continue, yeah. uh, but there's no continue as far as I know. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm enjoying this too much. Sorry. That's good. You should be. <laughs> um, what's coming up? We actually have a date for the next episode. Darcy's oh. going to be on it. It's on the fourteenth. Oh. Fourteenth. April fourteenth. That's a Friday. Normal so Darcy. Not day. this week. The next week. Yeah, right? not this week. Uh, yeah. next friday it is it is easter coming up happy easter to those happy who celebrate yep. enjoy all your chocolate eggs and um yes. and we got a bunch and, of chocolate the other day yeah. so we have lots of chocolate we have lots of, lots if of chocolate if it doesn't get eaten by then which it might actually we made some chocolate <clears throat> chocolate chocolate chip cookies as well Ooh, oh so yes we did yeah oh my god so good yeah half of them are gone yeah oatmeal <laughs> chocolate chocolate oh, chip yes oh so double good. chocolate oatmeal cookies um Very good. so i might do another 2600 day because i there's a whole bunch that i need to catch up on including another kev kelly game grocery game yeah um good to see the stream back yeah we're trying to put in shows every once in a while yeah. um f as far as my programming exercise i've got it all arranged in my head <laughs> the pseudocode is done in my head a pseudocode um not even the pseudocode but the way it's laid out gotcha. and everything yeah um now i just need to write out the pseudocode and um and then actually do it and it doesn't yeah. seem like it's going to be that bad i just have to uh make a uh kernel for the maximum things that are going to be on the screen at the same mm -hmm. time and then kind of work backwards from that, taking them away to build up to that. And that's the normal thing. Mm -hmm. You do a kind of a pressure test, a proof of concept that everything works and uh, at, the, at its most crazy, most hectic. And uh, yeah, no, I won't be using Batari Basic. I'll be using Assembly. Assembly is fine for me. Mm. It's to me, Assembly is like that close to Batari Basic anyway, yeah. to Basic. Yeah. Um, so there's no reason for me not to use assembly because I know assembly that much <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> enough to be dangerous. Um, and I, and I've done, um, a kernel on the 2600, like a, just a static screen with junk on it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I know how to make a basic screen kernel. Mm. Um, so I just have to do the next step. And, um, yeah, so once I'm done that, we're back to then normal. we're back to normal okay yes yeah because but i just want to have some time because if i'm doing the show that means i can't do this programming yeah. 
yeah. and I want to do this at least one thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, not to give anything away, we do have some, like, trips and different things over the last couple of weeks, which is why we're not sticking to a schedule as well. You yeah. have some work, there's some work-related trips and different things going on, which yeah, is so why it's not... Yeah, so it's kind of crazy and It's a little crazy for a few weeks, and then, and then, and as you say, in the meantime, you want to start working on... On, yes. on programming that so that's why there's a bit of a break right now it, yes. it's always in the spring like after you do the atari awards oh you need a break but then there's always a whole bunch of kind of stuff stuff you well, know we will yeah. be going to prg oh yeah and uh also vancouver retro gaming expo as well it, that's if in nothing else conflicts june? with it june june right? I think and the other one's in it. october yeah oh we're good for both of it so yep. far yeah 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 so it's all good um, um, VVG asked, are you making silicone molds too? I do make molds, not yes. these ones, yeah, she but, has. uh, I have made molds, but these ones are just, just, you know, Generic. bought online. Yeah. Cause they're just little round ones. And there's so. a mold for this as the, well. Yeah. Which is the awesome. Holder. The holder. It's, it's very bubbly though. My resin. Yeah. That one didn't turn out. I think well. it's just old. The resin I'm using, I I'm, I'm finishing a big bottle of it. Oh, that's the old one. You have a new one. Though. I have a new okay. one. And so, you know, it's fine when you're just trying stuff out, but, um, I don't know. I say assembly anyway. machine code. I forget. Somebody corrected me on that. So don't say assembly. Say machine code. Um, I don't know. Can't remember the difference between <laughs> them. between assembly and machine code. Assembly yeah. is like the codes, I think, like LDX, and machine mm -hmm. code is like the the zeros and ones. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we will have a show on April fourteenth. Um, yep, probably 2600 again. There's some Lynx games I want to play, some After Darks, and some 7800 games. Uh, let's see if I can reach out to the person who's making the Space Taxi game as well. Mm -hmm. And see if I can get that a little bit early. That'd be nice. Uh, assembly is the op-coded machine language, maybe. That's, that sounds like what I was trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um... What else? Okay. Yeah, oh, my 7800 gave me a fright the other day, so I have to take a look at that. It, uh, the mnemonics. Mnemonics. Yes. Um, because the video dropped out, and oh. I couldn't get it back. Oh. Then the next day was fine. I, I hate when stuff like that and happens. It's like, okay, <laughs> is it not a wiring issue? Did something not break? Did it overheat somehow? Mm. And it needed to rest? <laughs> Why does it need to rest? Very silly. Um, so I was a little scared of that. I'm still not completely sure. It's not some interference that the dragonfly cart did. Oh. But I put other things other than the dragonfly, and it still didn't work. Like, nothing worked. I could hear the music and the sound, but I couldn't see any visuals. So the games were running. It was just the video output. Mm. And now it's gone. So, mm. anyway um and what else happened I, I posted my um club about that if you don't know i do have uh, a zph club oh. where i detail <laughs> things going on with zph that i don't want to clutter the forums, the forums with, with because why would i create a thread about zph i've got my own club um actually I, we can go there right now i can just show you so if you go to home and Oh, where are the Perhaps clubs? a loose wire. Yeah. It could be. So if you go to clubs, there's zero page homebrew. And I actually have an FAQ about zero page. Very nice. Two years ago. Yeah. Well, that's when I started it. <laughs> and um, so you can find out all my uh, gaming equipment I have, like uh, Atari 2600 Lite Sixer with RGB, Atari 5200 4 port with S Video, Very nice. 7800 with S Video. 800XL with PAL, VBXL, and U1MB, Atari Jaguar, Atari Lynx with VGA. Um, and a whole bunch of information about stuff. And But if you go to ZPH Streaming and Hardware Updates, that's where I post, oh god, this broke! <laughs> that kind of thing. Oh, unable to run basic programs on the 800XL. Remember the last episode? Yes, we were doing, yeah. Trying to run basic, so I upgraded my... Um, U1 MB to the latest firmware, 4.2 over 4, and it fixed it. Very so now nice. we can run basic stuff. Very nice. And no video on the Atari 7800. <laughs> so I detail it right there. Um, all my problems. So you can see, let's see, my D 
connection issue with the internet, which I got a new um, network card to maybe fix it. Audio stray during broadcast, still not fixed. <laughs> just haven't put the time into it because yeah. we're kind of on break. Uh, crashing computer, that has been fixed since my new network card has gone in. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So that might be... Hopefully that was the uh, problem. Then. Yeah, so Solution. anyway, I, I detail... Um, hardware issues and stream issues there. The 78 couldn't handle the wares. <laughs> That's right. It's too much. It's too powerful, right, old stuff? Um, Atari 2600 diagnostic card. I... What? Oh, somebody posted. That's not supposed to post. Um, my homebrew wish list. Ah. And I, some people, not naming names, like to ask for games in the forums constantly and it's like just start your own list somewhere else keep it there yeah. stop begging around the forums um so i want 1943 for uh, <laughs> 7800 that you want developed yeah yes by somebody by somebody i mean nobody has to do them no 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 these it's are my wish lists i'm not a wish list. i'm not even asking for them i no. just wish somebody would make them yeah bomb jack and now it's happening. Yeah. There's, there's there an go. awesome bomb jack for 2600. I an, too would like Satan's Hollow. Yeah. Bubble Bobble. Um, 2600. That'd be super hard to make. You'd have to make the bubbles out of play field mm -hmm. somehow. And even that would be hard. Not impossible. I never thought of making the bubbles out of play field. Mm -hmm. You can put them on an alternate line and make them blue or white or whatever and put the platforms on the other alternate line. Might not work out. Uh, that's one for somebody else. Uh, Gyrus, specifically for the 7800 with Pokey plus YM plus TIA to have all the different audio um, because there are five Yamaha chips in the arcade machine making Yamaha. the music. Really? It's so much music in the arcade. Wow. Um, the 2600 looks really good already, but it needs it for the 7800. That'd be so killer. Um, Horizon for some system satan's hollow for the 2600 oh, yeah. or 7800 snow brothers completely doable it's very much like bubble bobble timber super doable on either the 26 or 78 two-ton calm now that's being worked on by champ game so i <laughs> update it as once people start working on them gotcha um and these are games from a console or a computer bandits so cool gateway to Appshy, so awesome probably nobody has heard of straight up oh it's a homebrew i think it would work perfect on the 2600 and wavy navy and also if nobody makes these and it's for 2600 it's also my uh, to-do list you're cool there it's you go like, oh there if i go. get good enough at programming gyrus is renowned for its music oh it's so so good i'd play it but i can't <laughs> um and you can see completed once somebody makes it i can Very cross nice. it out it was Very nice. now Done on the 7800 and 2600, both awesome. Mm. So I just move it to that. Um, what else do I have on this list? And I just start up threads for like, oh, I'm doing a mod or, you know, hey, we're doing um, a spotlight on somebody. Uh, uh, anybody have any questions for that person? Mm. Um, yeah, just see it like developer spotlight, Daryl Spice Jr., that kind of stuff. Gyrus actually had stereo audio. Oh, for sure. I think it did. It um, It's such a great game in the arcade. Every time we go to the arcade, I play it. Because um, it's so good in the arcade. Anyway, enough babbling. <laughs> uh, we are done for the night. We are. Uh, so we'll be gone for a week and a half. So we won't be back this Friday, but next, next Friday. Friday with yeah. Darcy. Yes. And then that weekend, we're also doing a movie marathon. Yeah. It is the... Safty Brothers. Safty Brothers, who did Uncut Gems. Every once in a while, we do a movie marathon. And with friends, yeah. With friends and concentrate on usually a director. Yes. Um, and we've done Tarantino. Tarantino um, uh, the Thing uh, director. Oh, What's his Carpenter. Face? John Carpenter. Um, we just did, oh. let me look it up actually. The guy who did Magnolia, Paul Thomas Anderson. Paul Thomas Anderson. Uh, yeah. we did Pi and that is, um, 
movie marathons. Yes. Pie so, and Mother. Quentin Tarantino in 2017. Carpenter and Kubrick in 2018. Kubrick, yeah. That was a good one. Darren Kubrick Aronofsky, 2020. Aronofsky, yeah. Uh, Through to 2021. 2021 Infernal Affairs Trilogy. Not really a marathon, but a mini yeah. one. Uh, Lord of the Rings 20th Anniversary, 2021. Paul Thomas yes. Anderson in yes. 2022. And now Safdie Brothers. Yep. Yeah. And I just added... Oh, I haven't seen Good Time. Uh, I've, I've only seen Uncut Gems, so I'm taking a bit of a risk on the Safdie brothers. I'm like, Uncut Gems is so good. But I believe Erilyn. Is it Erilyn who said, oh, you have to see the other ones? Someone, so. someone recommended the rest of their films, saying they're really good. Um, I think they're all in that kind of dark vein, though, like kind of dark and yeah, you love <laughs> Which that. I love. He loves Obviously, that. looking at the um, list, Aronofsky is well. I think nothing I think, but dark. Is it Erilyn? Or Geo? No, it was Erilyn, I think, yeah. who really liked the Safdie brothers. I, uh, was it Erilyn? It, it, it's definitely Erilyn. Yeah. 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 So, I don't think Geo's seen on yeah. Gems. So, yet. you know, when you have someone who says, oh, yeah, you need to see the other films, that's a good recommendation. Yep. Erilyn knows his films. Oh, we also did Mad Max in 2017. Oh, yeah. So we saw all uh, four films. All four in yeah. a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mad Max is good. And I just added Charlie Kaufman. As oh, a, as yeah. A you haven't seen a lot of Kaufman's no, and, as and, a writer. And they're yeah. all highly rated. They're all crazy. Yeah, crazy They're all crazy, rated. which is which makes for good um, movie movie marathons because you yes. don't want the same. You don't want <laughs> you boring. Want crazy. You want cr something to talk about while you're watching yeah. it, right? So The Whale was yeah. intense and amazing. Amazing. I really like it. I love whale. Aronofsky's yeah. films, except for... Mother? What's it called? Did no, you know, no, like I mother? appreciated I like, Mother more like the second mother. time around. Yeah, it was me too. Uh, that tree one in space. The tree oh, in space. Oh, um, not good. Oh yeah. What's it called? Life or tree something? Of life? Tree of life, something like no, that. No, it wasn't not Tree good. of Life. That's a different movie. No. I don't know. That that movie. It's not good. And not good. It's just really boring. Well, I mean, that was the worst it's of his crazy, films, which is still a good film, but it was not like his other films, really. Yeah. yeah. All the other ones are very good. Yeah. Wrestler is astounding. West Wrestler is great. Trees in space. Trees in space, yes. <laughs> um, uh, Gaspar Noé, uh, I'm going to have. Oh, that that's... One. You might have to sit out. <laughs> one of them, maybe, it is, yeah. They're crazy. The most crazy I have an issue with lots seen. of flashing lights because yeah. I get migraines and it kind of freaks me out. Yes. I don't, I'm not epileptic, but um, one I am a little a, worried. Most of his movies have a lot of flashing lights. I know, lights. I know. <laughs> a lot of visuals, right? Yeah, yeah. The, Requiem for a Dream oh, the was fountain. great. The Fountain, that was a so weird one. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, Martin yeah. Scorsese selections because he has a ton of films and some of them are. You might want to do it as an era, great. like his seventies era would just yes. be a fantastic. Actually, like just I pick, may just do pick 70s. a decade or something and just say we're going to do because this. Because his newer ones are like, mm. <clears throat> they're okay. They're okay. Like, um, what's the newest one he did uh, with Joe Pesci and um, the gangsters, where they're all <laughs> super ancient. Oh, uh, oh, that one's good. I'm really bad with names. I can, so I can, I. I can like explain Irish the entire Man. the Irishman. Thank you, old stuff. The entire like story, but I won't remember the name of the film. Climax. Oh, I loved Climax. It was yeah. so good. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> I haven't, god. I haven't seen a lot of um, Gaspar Noé. So intense. The one, the one where the person's floating. I saw that one with you yeah, and Gio. That one's good. Um, but that's a flashing. Dies and they're 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 floating over their life or whatever it is. Yeah. That was very flashy. I had to yeah. close my eyes for a part that of that. That was really good. Um, um, and Requiem for a Dream is wonderful. Irreversible is really good, but too. hard to watch. Requiem for a Dream. Oh, I love it. Um, it's hard to watch, no, knowing it for the second time. Yeah. I find it's one of those films. And I have a Coen Brothers on the <clears throat> list. I'm a little eh, really. Some of the, I just find them a little quirky. I like, love quirky. Quirky for quirky's sake. If you uh, well, if if you want oh. quirky, um, we'll just do a, a movie marathon of I your would, favorite I would uh, director. Die. I would no. I just saw the trailer for his new movie. Yeah. Like it's like somebody's making fun of him. <laughs> what's like what's the name? Wes Wes, Wes Anderson. Anderson. Wes Anderson. Like you look at the trailer and it's like everybody's standing in the middle of the frame. Everything's so centered. Everything's bright bubblegum pink. Yeah. And they're talking really loudly like this. And we agree to do this. Yes. Okay, let's do this adventure. <laughs> oh my god. It's the same. He's not a Wes Anderson fan. <laughs> I liked them at the beginning. I really like Wes Anderson. It's like, oh, this is kind of fun. And you then it's just, and then it just like hit repeat, hit repeat over <laughs> and over. It's the same movie. I love, I like, 
Even love, the Fox movie that was animated. I love his animated it's films. I love the one with the Isle Asteroid of Dogs. City, yeah. I loved Astro. I loved Isle of Dogs. I love the Fantastic Mr. Fox. I think of all his films, his his um, stop motion ones are fantastic. They're well done, but they're the same. The movie. live action ones, I know, they're very samey, but quirky. but no, but but. The animated ones, it, I find it works better with the animated ones. That's just me, but he's... he's it lends better to the animation. He just has a style, and he gives people it's, what they want. People yeah. want Wes Anderson. They want colorful. They want fanciful. Yeah. He gives people what they want. You they can't want, blame him. He does 50s retro idealistic movies so well. They're so good, though. <laughs> I loved Royal so Tenenbaums, good. but I grew out of it somehow. Now I hate it. <laughs> that's my feeling about Wes Anderson. I used to love him, and now I've just grown out of that But that's that okay. Style. That's okay. And some people say that about Tarantino, too. He's got this style, and I hate it. And, <sighs> I, and it's I like, well, quite... I love his style. Yeah. I just love it. I mean, um... um... Atari 2600 dude says, I've been in an A24 movie marathon. That's a lot of movies. <laughs> A24 <laughs> they would They put be. out a lot of... But they're all astoundingly good. Like, yeah. as soon as I see A24 on the screen, I'm like, yes, that's a movie I want to see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're True. weird. They're intense. Yeah. They're different. Yeah. You know you're not going to get a standard movie yeah. when you see that. BBG Double Down. People also want superhero movies, too, but most aren't any good. Yeah. I agree. I've, and it's unfortunate. I've kind of stopped watching them. There's so much untapped I, potential I, of superhero movies, but they just... Make them generic. They make them so generic yeah, and palatable. Yeah. Like, um... It's the example I give all the time for superhero movies is Hancock. The first half of that movie is amazing. It turns superheroes on their he on its head. Yeah. But then they have a love story and then it goes all to crap. Um, but the first part is like, oh, I'm a superhero and I'm bored with it and I just don't really care anymore. That's a great And concept. I'm just going to be yeah. drunk and do what I want. Be a nuisance. Yeah. And be a nuisance. Yeah. And, and people really kind of hate me because I don't save the city anymore. Yeah. And and I also liked um, what's the other one with the blue, the blue guy who goes into space. The blue guy who goes into and it's space. like three and a half hours long movie, and the other superhero is an owl guy. Damn it! And it's not a superhero know. movie as as. The Watchmen. Yeah, Watchmen. Yeah. I like that Watchmen one as well. Watchmen was excellent. Yeah, Charles Nani Mal got yeah. it. And that was excellent. Stylistic. Yeah. It's very different. Yeah, yeah, um, it is. Good. I like that one as well. Yeah. Like I want superhero movies that are different. Yeah, not the same. Not they, the same. Something that has a really unique concept or idea. It's like, not Spider Man <laughs> again. Again, again and Do again. Do we and need again. more Spider Man? No, we don't. And we reboot really it don't. again and again because that one does well. Yeah. yeah. Origin or stories. Batman. I'm I'm tired of Batman. I'm tired of <laughs> Spider Man. I don't want to watch those films again. Come I like up the, with something I like new. the trilogy of uh, the The uh, Dark Knight. The Dark Knight trilogy. It was excellent, but I it just was different, but yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't I'm I'm done. I'm done. Do we need Batman? No, no we, don't. we don't need his no. origin story again. We really oh, and don't. I like Joker. But that was not a superhero film. <laughs> that felt like a Martin Scorsese film. It did, yeah. Which it That's was inspired hugely by hugely inspired by that. Yeah, yeah, by Taxi Driver. So And I'm really scared of Joker too. Really scared. Yeah. Like, why? Are you gonna mess it up? Please don't mess it up. <laughs> Please don't wreck it. Just yeah. be weird again and yeah. do something really different. Don't be super superhero. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, the oh. first Christopher Reeves Superman was very good. Um, he, but he kind of he was a perfect Superman. I mean, you think yeah. of Superman, you you picture Christopher Reeve <laughs> if you're of a certain age. Yes. In your head, right? Um, we're all of that. Certain we're age. all of that. Certain <laughs> Let's age. not joke. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Enough. enough chatting about films. We'll talk. Well, I mean, we'll talk more when we get close to our movie marathon yeah, too. So. Exactly. Um, okay, thank you fun. for watching, um, mm -hmm. and also for uh, the de the developers also being in the chat, Kev yeah. Kelly. Yeah. Uh, um, and also, who else was in the chat? I'm terrible with names, so. Um, <coughs> Excuse uh, me. Mike Latow as mm -hmm. well, and Just Jeff. Three out of four! Yay! Woo! That's really good. Um, and also, um, Jinro, who did Carrot Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, said uh have fun with the game oh in, nice. in the forums in that, nice yeah. nice nice so thanks for watching spiceware yes, chelsea I'm out kev kelly vvg double down rc7e uh atari 2600 dude rendered ghost 
Old style. Old style, yes. Uh, uh, Batoko. Uh, Batoko is in there. I think you mentioned Mike already. Yep. Gamma, <laughs> Gamma, Gamma Dev. Dev. Secret final boss is your own. Thank Ooh. you for watching. First yes. time chatting. Yep. Um, I think they subscribed or they followed. They I followed, can't remember. if yep. I remember correctly. Dan ABC, oh, Raymond, Raymond C. Yeah. Char uh, Charles, Charles Whelan, Whelan Chitlet La, all, Mike Littell. All the, all, all the kitty supporters, too. Thank you. They oh, like their just treats. Jeff, right at the top. Very good. Thank you for watching. And remember, not this Friday, but next Friday, we'll be back with some more awesome homebrew games. Yes. Um, so have a good night and have a good weekend. And we will su see you soon. Yes. Say bye, Atari. Say bye, Atari. Say bye, Sprite. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Have a good night.